guys welcome back to my channel today I felt inspired to do a what's in my bag video I used to watch these all the time growing up and recently I've seen what's in my bag 2019 videos popping up so I thought I might as well hop on the bandwagon also what really inspired this video is my neighbor's kid I was babysitting her the other day and she loves to look inside my bag she just digs through it for like 30 minutes I'll insert a clip right here because she's so cute I want this you want to buy this lip gloss? Mm -hmm. How will you be paying? Charge it to my car. Isn't that just precious? <laughs> but anyway, so I was just thinking like, why not do a what's in my bag video? So here we are, and without further ado, let's get into it. So I have a few bags that I use on a daily basis. One of them is a black Michael Kors, which I don't know where it is at the moment, but another one is this Michael Kors Jet Set Tote in the shade Ballet. I absolutely love this color, which is why I got it. So I'll show you guys what's inside. This bag has a lot of storage space. It's kind of a mess in there, but yeah, let's get started. I'll actually try to show you guys the compartments when I pull things out of them um, because I actually, <laughs> I have my bag kind of organized uh, depending on necessity. So let's start from like the main compartment right here. The first thing that I always have with me is a water bottle. This is a glass Voss one, if you guys are familiar with that. And if I'm not carrying around that, I usually have my Starbucks cup with me. This is actually from a DIY video that I made. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I love using this one normally. But if I need one in my bag, it's this because it fits perfectly. So next up I have a hairbrush with me. I love paddle brushes and this one I love it because it's rose gold. I also love to keep hair ties here on the handle so that I can always find them if I need them. So yeah, a hairbrush. Next I have my wallet which is also Michael Kors. I actually use this one all the time. It doesn't matter what bag and I didn't even buy it with this bag but I believe they are the same shade. It's either ballet or oyster, I want to say. So yeah, there's my wallet. Next up, I have some deodorant. I always have this with me. This is the Crystal Invisible Solid Deodorant Stick. I get it at Walgreens. Um, it's relatively cheap. I don't know how much it is, but it's just a Walgreens deodorant. I also love the packaging, and I also love the fact that it's, I believe, all natural. I do actually have another one that I use sometimes, and that is the Schmitz Charcoal and Magnesium Deodorant. It works really well for me, and I believe this is like completely healthy. Healthy. Yeah, go ahead and check this one out if you guys are interested in something like that and moving on So next up are my keys <laughs> These are my car and house keys. I try not to have too many keys on my necessities keychain So I have a lot of other keys for things like pet sitting clients I do some pet sitting some babysitting and I have a lot of different house keys So I keep those separate. So this is basically just my car key my steering wheel lock key and my house key and then keychain wise my mom actually just gave this to me so this is like the keychain that I have this is a UC Berkeley extension keychain because that is where my mom works and this is a little palm tree bottle opener because I went to Santa Barbara and I love SoCal and palm trees are my thing so she put these two on there and yeah these are my keys next up is a fragrance. I usually carry around some sort of perfume with me. Most times it's the Victoria's Secret Tees perfume, but this one happens to be the Bath and Body Works Pink Chiffon Mist body spray, some sort of thing. It smells really good. This one is, I believe, like three or four years old. I still have a decent amount in there. Um, I think the fragrance has changed a little bit since it's a bit old, but it still smells amazing, so... Go Bath and Body Works. Next up, something that I like to have with me is a little sewing kit. I'm always making things or fixing things. And one day at work, I used to work at the athletics department at my school. Um, my pants had a little rip in the seam and it got bigger and there was a hole like this big just on my leg. So I took a needle and thread and I sewed up my hole at work. So I always like to carry around a little sewing kit with me. The last thing in the big compartment is a little charging block. I always like to carry one with me. And this is going to lead me to my next compartment, which is my electronics. So in my electronics compartment, I have a charging cord, which goes with that charging block. I always like to keep those handy. 
I have some earbuds, which actually don't match my iPhone at the moment. <laughs> my other ones for the iPhone X are in my drawer. I should really switch those out. But um, then I have my phone, which is always in that compartment as well. I just have the white XR with a clear case because I like how it looks. And so yeah, that's my phone. And then I have a portable charger, which I got on Amazon a long time ago and it works really well. And it has two ports and then a charging port to charge the device itself. So yeah. So I guess sticking along the line of necessities, I'll just take you to my kind of emergency compartment. This is where I keep things like pliers in case some jewelry breaks and I need to fix it really quickly. I also have nail glue in here in case I'm wearing glue-ons and they pop off. I also always try to carry around some duct tape. My dad taught me this rule, you never know when you're going to need something really strong holding like duct tape until you need it and I had to learn that lesson myself. And so I always carry around duct tape. It's usually black, I just ran out, and this is a brown roll, and it's also running out, so there's a day in my life. I also carry around a really small measuring tape. I like to do a lot of DIYs. If you go check out my channel, you'll see that. <laughs> And when I'm buying supplies or just any sort of thing, if I'm buying furniture for my house, I like to have something where I can measure things on the go. So that's what this is for. Then something else that my dad always taught me to carry around is an army knife. So on here I have a lot. I have a corkscrew, scissors, a knife, a, another screw. It's just a lot. I would pull them out, but this one's kind of old and it's hard to get them out, especially if you're wearing nails like this but I have my ways. Sometimes I'll even use the pliers if I really need to get one out that won't come out and there's my knife. <laughs> Be that girl on the go who knows how to get stuff done. Anyway, so the last thing I have in my necessities compartment are either Jolly Ranchers or Lollipops, just something sweet to suck on because a strange thing for me is after I eat something very tomato based, I kind of feel like sickish unless I get something sweet in my system. I don't know if it's like psychological or physical. I really don't know what it is, but after I eat something like spaghetti for example I like need something sweet after it doesn't have to be big just something that like cleanses my palate and so I like Jolly Ranchers or lollipops literally 30 cents from the gas station or something I always try to get the color red or pink so like cherry strawberry raspberry because if you're on the go you don't really want a blue mouth <laughs> if you get like blueberry um so something that looks relatively like lipsticky is what I'll normally get so I carry these. So that was my necessity compartment and this is kind of a spin-off of that I guess you might say. So I'll just pull out these two items. I believe is all that's in there. Um, this is my birth control, necessary. And this is my gum which I always have on me as well. It's Orbit Sweet Mint. I live for this stuff. Literally for my birthday my boyfriend got me like six packs of them I think. That's how you make me happy. So in the next compartment it's literally just this and it's where I keep whatever sunglasses I want to bring with me that day. Um, these <laughs> just so happen to be in here. I got these from a little boutique called Francesca's in Santa Barbara. I love these sunglasses and if you guys checked out my Cabo vlogs I was wearing them in those as well so yeah. Love these. And last but not least is this little makeup compartment. And currently, I believe all I have in here are lipsticks. I usually don't bring like a touch up bag with me. My makeup doesn't usually need touching up. And also, I'm not usually wearing so much glam when I go out. But on the off chance that I do, it's usually only for a few hours anyway. So I don't need that much touch up stuff. And honestly, like if a zit starts to show or something, like we're all human. I don't really need to go touch it up. That's just not really my thing. I just kind of go with what I already got. So what I do have in here though is a chapstick. Works really well for me. It's from Sprouts. It's vanilla bean. I love it. So that's always in my bags. I have multiple of them in multiple bags just in case I ever forget it. Also what I have in here, I love nude lips. So I have two glosses that I use on the daily. This is the Lorac gloss um, in the shade CEO, one of my favorites. And the one that I'm actually currently wearing right now is, I believe it's ColourPop in Finders Keepers. So these two are my go-tos. However, if I'm craving like a matte lip, for example, I will go with Urban Decay. The shade is Back Talk and the formula is Comfort Matte. And this is what it looks like. 
I love this shade. <laughs> so if I'm not wearing a nude lipstick, chances are I'm usually wearing a maroony lipstick or a red lipstick. And so the last thing I have in here is a backup version in case I'm wearing red and it needs touching up because red is something typically, or like maroon, like any bold, darker, vibrant lipstick other than nude, it's easy to tell when it needs some touching up. So I always have a mini with me and this is Sephora cream lip stain red in the shade 01 so it's just like the perfect red so yeah that is the entire contents of my bag so another thing that i actually love about this bag and the reason why i got it in this style is because back when i was in school i needed something to carry around my computer in i used to just have a regular computer bag a black one just one shoulder strap the usual um, but I wanted something that felt more me, and this was it. So yeah, I'll show you guys exactly how perfectly my MacBook Pro fits into this bag. Also, this is the Jet Set Tote in size medium. So yeah, I believe it comes in small, medium, and large. So medium and MacBook Pro. This literally slides right in. It's the perfect shape for a computer. And you might think, oh, well, that's the only thing that can fit in there, right? Well, no. I'm gonna pack all the contents back into my bag and show you guys just how much I can fit in there. So I'm starting with electronics. I've got my earbuds, my charging block, charger, and portable charger, my phone, my sunglasses, my gum and birth control, my keys, my hairbrush, my wallet, my sewing kit, my deodorant, all my lip stuff, all the contents of my necessity compartment, my body spray, and my water. So here is the full bag. It's so full that it can't actually zip shut, but I usually used it open anyway. Rocky! Rocky, come say hi! Rocky! Hi, buddy! <laughs> This is actually my neighbor's cat, by the way. I pet sit for them, and me and this little guy bonded real good, so he likes to come into our house sometimes through the cat door that we had for my cat, who passed away a little while ago, and yeah, he'll visit and say hi every once in a while. Anyway, so like I was saying, that is how much I can actually fit into this bag. It doesn't zip up, but that never really bothered me because I would always wear it open anyway, and the only difference of how I packed it is that the water bottle is now laying on top here. Um, so yeah, just be careful that doesn't fall out and everything else is in its normal place and right here is the computer Also, if you guys were wondering because I do get asked about this sometimes my computer case is fully crystallized And this is another DIY that I did on my channel as well So if you guys are interested go ahead and check that out to <laughs> shameless self promo <laughs> um, Anyway, so yeah that fits right in here and that is my everyday bag Also, I forgot to mention because I did want to mention that since this is a Michael Kors bag obviously it is a little bit more expensive than a normal bag and I am not necessarily the type of girl to go spend a lot of money on things when I don't have a lot of money at the moment so what I do when I want a nice designer item like this I'll go on to apps like Poshmark or Mercari or eBay and I will go find a lower priced designer good I actually bought this bag on Poshmark for I think $170 which is definitely reduced from the retail price and I I also have gotten other Michael Kors bags on there as well for as low as $65, which is pretty crazy to me. But yeah, so that's how much this bag actually costs me. And I just wanted to mention that as some sort of like tip in case you guys are interested. Anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, if you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at Annika underscore Helmer. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. So I... And maybe he will see you in the next video. Bye. Want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye, guys.